Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. In our previous video, we talked about how to create a new database. We talked about how to create a new table. In another video, we saw how to add new columns, alter the columns and rename the columns and change the data type of the columns, right? So in this video, we'll talk more about columns only and we'll talk about one identity property you can associate with the columns. So let's go first check what is exactly this identity property. So what is an identity property? It creates an identity column in a particular table. So with this identity property, you can create a column okay, in a table and that table can have only one column that you can set as an identity property, right? You cannot have more than one column with identity properties. Okay, This identity property is used for generating key values based on the current seed and increment, right? So with this identity property, you can have the column okay, set as identity and by which you will get automated generated key values by SQL Server itself based upon the seed and the increment, right? So these two things, seed and increment are associated with identity property. You have to set the seed and you have to set the increment while making a column as entity, right? So let's say an employee table you have and there is an employee ID column that you make entity. So what is the idea behind that? Because you don't want the user to set the employee ID. You want SQL Server to set an identity and you want to make sure that, okay, these identity values are in sequence as when you are inserting employee records in that particular table. So let's say in an organization, the employee ID, they want to start from 100 and they want it to ever increasing. So the seed you will set as 100 and the increment you will set as 1, right? Increment you can even set anything, right? So the based upon the increment, the identity values will jump right and they will be incremented let's say if you set the increment as 10 right so the identity values those are generated will be 100 110 120 and so on and so forth right but we will not have any case with the employee ids maybe with some other uh, case or scenario you might setting you might set the increment value as like that but with our employee table the scenario will have as the seed will be 100 and the increment will be one right the third point is each new value for a particular transaction is different from other concurrent transactions in a particular table. Okay, so this is just an uh, FYI. Okay, that um, whenever you are dealing with transactions, so let's say there are one or more transactions, and if all the transaction or more than one transaction are entering the values in a particular table, so those values may be different. Okay, in different different transactions, right? So let's go ahead and see how this identity property works okay i'll i'll open ssms okay and in our previous video we saw an example of an employee table okay and this was the create table statement that was used to create the employee table and these were the insert statements that were used to insert these three values okay and this is the select statement that showed us okay what all records are present in this employee table okay having the employee ID as 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so now let's say the organization thinks that okay, the employee ID you should not, the user should not provide. Okay, uh, rather than SQL Server itself decide the employee ID to be. Okay, so here let's, uh, what I'll do is I'll delete this, I'll delete this table. Okay, or drop this table. Okay, so now we don't have any employee table and we'll try to make a new employee table with the entity property. Okay, so uh, before creating this employee table, I'll try to show you by the table designer, okay, the GUI tool. How can we create the table with identity property? Okay, uh, I'll just right click on the table new and select the table option. Okay, it will take us to table designer. Okay, here I'll set the column name as EMPLOYEID, data type as integer, and where care let's say 100 okay for now i'll just have two columns okay with i'll select the employee id column and in the below properties there is a identity specification section right you have to expand it and you will see that it is no right so is identity property you will have to set as yes okay and here the identity increment and seed by default is 1 1 right so we discussed that you know the identity seed will set as 100 Okay. and the increment will keep it one only okay so let's see what statement our table designer generated right I'll just click on generate change script okay so I'll just take out the create table portion just like this okay and I'll close everything because I didn't want the table to be created from here 
okay and i'll paste the create table statement that was generated by sql server engine here right so here you can see create table table name employee id int not null identity 100 comma 1 right so this is the only difference in both of the create table statement right so what i have to do is i just have to put this over here right so what i'll do is i'll type everything here identity and this 100 comma 1 okay i'll remove this so this is the syntax to create an identity column in a particular table you just have to specify identity the seed and the increment option here okay and your identity column will be created while creating this table okay so this table is created right so in the column explorer if you want to see the identity property it will not show you here but if you will try to you know script the table like create two statement right it will show it here it will show here right see identity 100 comma 1 okay everything is same integer and not null that you defined previously okay okay i'll close this okay so now our table is empty there are no records in this table okay let's see because there's a new created table okay how will we insert records so, so in our previous video we don't have this column as identity that's why the user were, were specifying this id by themselves and inserting the records okay now let's see if i still try to insert this right so let's go and execute it so this give me an error right it says that an explicit value for the identity column in the table employee can only be specified when a column list is used and identity insert is on okay so it says that the column list should be specified over here okay so i'll just try to copy all these columns so rather than typing all these columns what i can do is i can drag the column list over here okay i can enclose it in brackets right and as the employee id column is auto generated so i won't be selecting this employee id and i won't be setting this id column right and similar here i'll remove all these ids right and i'll copy the same thing over here okay so now here i'm just using the employee name i'm not inserting these values because these are null so i can skip these so what i can do is rather than you know having the employee id and other columns i can just keep my employee name over here right because i'm just inserting the employee name right okay so let's execute all of them right okay three records inserted let's see how those were inserted okay so you can see right the sql we didn't Put 100, 100, 102 here. SQL Server itself, you know, inserted these records with employee ID 100, then 101, then 102. So all these are consecutive, right? Okay. So now let's say if somebody wants to explicitly insert a value here, how can he do that, right? So there is a statement you can set that is set ID E N T I T Y identity insert and the table name okay then you have to put it on okay then you can insert explicit values over here okay and at the end what you'll have to do you'll have to set it to off okay by this you can enter explicit values in a particular table let's say you want to insert the employee id with thousand okay so you can do that by so let's say if you want to do it right now right by not enabling this option i'll just try to execute this right so i'll get an error it says that cannot insert explicit value for identity column in the table when identity insert is set off so what i'll do is i'll set the entity insert to on okay so let's do that i'll execute it okay it is on now what i'll do is i'll insert the record it is inserted and i'll set the in identity insert to off okay after doing that let's see how many records got inserted and what was the id see you can see the id was inserted was thousand okay now let's see if i try to insert the same record again right by using the automated id right i'll change the name j h o n john b right let's see what value will it get okay so i'll execute it and let's see what value it got it got 101 right because the id was because the latest current value was changed to thousand so the new value that was inserted was 101 okay 
So this is all about identity columns, how we can use them. We'll discuss more about identity column in my next video. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Please like if you really like it and please let me know your comments if you want me to cover something else and more on this particular topic or, or, or any other topic. Okay, and please subscribe. Uh, by subscribing, you will get to know the new videos that I'll be putting in future, right? Thanks a lot.